apparently, anyways. Good enough. Alright, Galileo. De Obadia. Start? Yeah, it's All done. Right. Okay. Alright, go ahead. Uh, I'll show you my opponent deck. It I'll is put it like this. I play three card cards. Uh, three mass. Three paths, they just summon each other. Uh, three seahorse that get these, and also this, which is the tuna, gives you access to rank uh, to level four, level eight synchros. That's all the monsters I don't play. I don't play this because it's a little slow. Uh, play three duality, three MST, three batteries. Three everything, man. I play through everything. I, I match out everything like consistency. I play through these over any Sisunders because. Uh, these give you straight away access to all these, and it's basically all the plays you want to make. You don't need to waste a summon on a Sisunda and try to get a plus one. When Kakaris give you that plus one, that lets you get the stuff that help out the combo. Because if you get more of these, it doesn't help in face of like a big field or a or a jury armor that you have no outs to. So it's better to like set a few and go card card and then try and push plays through. And if they get stopped. Uh, which you'll see by my tra uh, my traps that I'm, I'm trying to make him go through. Uh, you have this as a follow up play. Uh, then I have compose, uh, warning, torrential, uh, oh, and bottomless. I take two mistakes. Um, versus Marmel, it's pretty good because if you set it and they go uh, tails maximum. That, that puts a huge dent, and the idea of this deck is to grind, so once uh, once they lose the ability to go back into the deck, every play they make, uh, that you stop, is huge. Versus Jirja, um, even though it literally only stops uh, the Jirja armor, it's, it's what this deck finds it hard to get over. If they go fall back on a Jirja armor, it's really hard, because people play in Blackhorns, so it's really hard to go Scrap Dragon and go over it. So a mistake along with finish chains is an easy out to the to the gear jammer. Uh, you got the three black horns. Uh, I think this was like the card of the of the tournament. I think everybody was playing two or three. Uh, I got three seven tools. Uh, Helps make the place go through and stops big cards like the 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 GJ trap card and three finish chains for you can change it to exciting night it's important to like stop exciting night once you're grinding and like i've got, I've got quite a few hours to it and also gear jammer which is huge and also the tails maximum point um for my side deck it's uh three debunks three maxis three dna two dos uh, Soul Drain, D Future, Macro, and, uh, and a Mind Control. So, in theory, uh, I was pretty good versus Mermel, uh, but my two losses day one, uh, one versus the guy who went on the P8, and another one versus the, another guy who got top 32. Um, we went to game three, me starting, and uh, my deck bricked. Um, I either drew all my monsters or no monsters, so I didn't really play game three. So my two losses were more to a uh, consistency, consistency issue. Um, and my extra excited Costello M7. This is huge because once you simplify the game state, you drop this over the Omega, and if they don't get rid of it straight away, it's pretty much game over. Uh, they got a Mastro, a Black Ship, a Paladinamo, uh, a Dire Wolf. So basically one of each to try and make a, a toolbox. Uh, two Dweller because of the Merrimal matchup. Two A because it's mandatory. And the uh, Synchros, uh, Strap, Stardust, Crimson and Spike Grind. These are huge because the Violin comes back and makes, um, makes this 35, makes, makes this 38. And for example, I, uh, with a crane, they usually don't get above 36, 37. So Scrap Dragon is huge. It doesn't lose out to Crane. And then uh, if you have no cards, you can pop the, the you can pop the the Vylon to destroy another card. So it, it helps get over like everything. So the idea is to have like a huge toolbox that lets me do whatever I want when I need it.
Uh, that was good. Um, I, I didn't like anything in the format, so I wanted to play something that was kind of original, I guess, and fun. Um, but the problem I have with this is too linear. Uh, like, it makes pretty much the same place, it's consistent. Uh, but I guess, like, versus top decks, it was slacking a little bit. Um, it had easy matchups. Like, for example, I played against the winner, uh, and I. Even though he started uh, with Iron and like the Dragon Rulers and Dragon Sack, uh, turn one he opened with that, I still grinded him out. So the deck was good, but uh, if you don't draw any traps or you don't draw any monsters, you, you need to withdraw the right mix. I know it, that sounds like dumb because it's for every deck, but even more for this one, that's very particular in what it does. Um, so at the end of the day, that's what really cost me the, the, the top, I guess. Um, but no, it was good. It was a good event. Uh, everyone was really nice, and um, the winner deserved it. It was a really nice guy. And just hi to everybody, and bye.